This pair of kestrels are known as Mr. and Mrs. Kez. They're looking for the perfect place to bring up chicks. Last year they nested in Sycamore Stump, successfully raising five chicks that fledged last July. But since then, barn owls, willow and ghost have taken over the site. The kestrels need to find somewhere else. Soon the prospect in the ash stump nest. The pair nested here two years ago, but it wasn't easy. They had problems with barn owls, jackdaws and tawny owls. They'll think twice before choosing this nest again. Another option is beach stump. The pair arrived to investigate. Mr. Cass heads in first. Mrs. Kez wants a look too. She's intrigued by the cameras and even begins to nest scrape, checking if the nest floor is suitable for eggs. They seem to like this spot and soon they mate just outside. But the kestrels aren't the only ones that are interested. The tawny owls and the barn owls are both visiting this nest too. So I'm going to renovate Ashton to give the kestrels another option. There's so much competition for nest sites out there, so I'm giving the kestrels a helping hand. This is actually going to be a baffle that I'm going to put in ash stump, and this will exclude the bigger birds, like the tawny owls just going in and grabbing the kestrels, and the little kestrels will be able to hop over the top. In the morning, Mr. Kez is the first to visit. And then Mrs. Kez takes a look too. They seem to like the changes. That night, Tawny Owl Bomber tries to enter, but can't get past the baffle. It's clear my handiwork has done its job. It's mid-February and the Kestrels have decided on this nest. Now they can focus on courtship. The male must impress the female by providing food. These food passes are an important part of courtship, proving the male can provide for the female and the chicks. They take it in turns to scrape the nest floor. Forming a shallow depression in preparation for eggs. As well as some essential maintenance. By mid-March, Mrs. Kez is guarding the nest by day and at night. A sure sign she's going to lay soon. In 
In the morning, Mrs. Kess heads inside. She tidies the nest carefully. And when her work's complete, she settles down. She breathes heavily. And within moments, a first egg is revealed. Kestrels lay at two day intervals and can have between three and seven eggs. These eggs are incubated right away. Brooding typically starts when half the clutch is laid. Over the next four days, she lays a second. And third egg. As April arrives, unseasonal storms sweep the Yorkshire countryside. The pair are vigilant, perfectly timing their changeovers to ensure their eggs don't get cold. And as the snow melts, Mrs. Kez continues to lay. She soon reveals egg four. Five. And then six. Until finally, their clutch is complete. This experienced pair have been together three years now. It's a joy to see them with another clutch of eggs. In just a month's time, their chicks will hatch. And I can't wait to watch this pair step up to the challenge once again. In the next video, the chicks begin to hatch. But days later, Mrs. Kez disappears. How will Mr. Kez cope as a single parent? And will the chicks survive? Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to see more. Here's a taste of what you'll enjoy seeing on this channel.